An excellent measure of happiness is the differential between what you have and what you want. You can spend your lifetime wanting more, always chasing happiness, or you can simply decide to consciously want less. This latter strategy is infinitely easier and more fulfilling. All right, what's up, Internet? Woke up super bright and early this morning listening to this wonderful audiobook called Adapt, and it's all about just like cultivating yourself to becoming a better, more peaceful, loving human being. It's so good. We literally went up this little turnpike, around this way, along the whole top. I think we were right there. The 10 mile hike yesterday. Yeah, my, leg, my legs are a little bit sore, but they're totally good. Uh, right now I'm about to leave here and go feed Costa's dog because I'm a little late right now. Apple, how's it going, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? How's it going, buddy? <laughs> this is so... I feel like, I don't know, the, one of the reasons that these dogs exist is for the internet. Or maybe the internet exists for the dog. <laughs> so cute. Looks like you've already peed. <laughs> Alright, so one scoop of dog food. Eat this. All right, Apple, come on, come outside. Let's play outside for a sec. <laughs> oh, I bet that shot looked great. <laughs> this dog is, oh my gosh. I can't believe this thing exists. I'll see you later, buddy. It's been fun. Photo shoots with dogs, the hardest thing. Stay, Apple. Stay, 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 stay. 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 Oh my gosh. Ready? I'll be back soon. Okay, so back here at the apartment now. I have about an hour and a half before high school today, so I'm gonna get some work done. I was just reflecting on how I'm gonna be going to, back to the US soon, and I think Brett and I are gonna let go of this apartment, and we're quite saddened, because this place is... You don't find places like this very often, and you know, I, I'm sad, but I'm also excited, because the next place is gonna be even better. It's like one door closes, another one opens. I truly believe that. Make space for new stuff. I'm excited to go back to America and hang out for a bit. It's gonna be a good summer. All right, got the chill vibes right now. Chill vibes playing. Editing chill vibe photos, got the cloud pictures. I'm really stoked in this one. I just got an email from my friends Jevin and Rachel who connected me with Brad and China and they came out here to some movie. We're gonna be editing videos live while they're shooting. It's gonna be like a super fast paced production environment and we're gonna kick some ass together. So I'm gonna go there right after the cruise in Florida with Will and I just got my tickets booked and I'm super excited. Jeff and Rachel, I'm so excited to hang out with you guys. I'm feeling super inspired right now because back when Instagram just started introducing videos. They were 15 seconds in duration, and I had so much fun just cramming down edits and just making really cool shorts that I could post on Instagram. And that's what's turned into the vlogs and just making really fun, high energy stuff. And I'm feeling inspired right now because I took the drone footage from yesterday's vlog and made a little insta cut. It's like the zoom transition, and it gives like a really cool, cool feel between each scene. You guys, if you guys saw the vlog yesterday, you've already seen the footage, but I wanted to make a little short so I can post it on Facebook and Instagram, and I'm just really stoked right now. Some Rianne Pasta Thai in about 10 minutes. Mm. 
So Monica, I'm sorry. Red spike. Scare is going down. <laughs> We're only gonna be roommates for another couple more weeks, so I'm trying to get as many scares as I can. <laughs> Got him. Got him. All right, it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Got my dirty laundry here, and you know, I'm still new to this long hair game, and washing and conditioning my hair can just be, you know, it's cumbersome, it's time consuming, but I enjoy having long hair. In Thailand, for like three or four dollars, I can get my hair washed, dried, shampooed, and a head massage, so I think I'm gonna go do that right now, because it's been a few days since I've cleaned my hair. This river here has been here since the day we moved in. It has not it has not dried up at all. Thank you, Cub. See you. <laughs> I'm feeling so fresh. Alright, back here at Costa's. Ch gonna check on Apple again. Feed and Make sure he's pooped and peed, and then he'll be good till tomorrow when Costa gets back. Apple, how's it going? Hey, buddy, what you doing? Who are you? Hey, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Come on, God. <laughs> Apple, they don't get much cuter than you, man. You purposely cute. You can like try to be present with your food. You know, take a take a take a moment to feel take a moment to feel grateful for it. Take a moment to think about all that had to happen for your dog food to be produced. Maybe just take a moment to, you know. Thank just being alive. Because eating food should be a really, you know, mindful practice. <laughs> Bye, Apple. Love you, buddy. See ya, dude. Hey, guys. <laughs> It is time for some yoga. Here like 20 minutes early. I think I might get a little meditation on. I think when I go back to America, I'm definitely gonna miss this view. Oh my God, that was awesome. I feel amazing. I got that post yoga bliss. Okay guys, back home at the house. Today was such a good day. Super fun, super productive, and I wanna leave you guys with some value. I can't have you guys watch five minutes of my life and not get any value, unless, unless you already have, which is cool. But today's lesson is to... I think one thing that I always learn in the ayahuasca or peyote ceremonies is that you can always improve the quality of your life by practicing, by practicing presence, being present in the moment. That is like one of the most important freaking things in life because if you're living in the future of stuff that's already happened, or if you're living in the past of things that have already happened and you're constantly in the future or in the past or whatever, you're not in the present, in the moment because that's where all the power is. So yeah, that's my tip for you today. And if you're having trouble becoming present, in my yoga class today, she asked us to take 10 deep breaths and breathe in 
your inhale in its entirety, fill up your lungs until it's complete maximum, and count one. And then exhale, and make sure the exhale is twice as long as the inhale. And do this until you count to 10, and literally you'll feel completely different. The past will dissolve, the future won't matter, and you'll be here now, because that's all that matters. I hope that helps you guys. It's been super great. I know you guys want to see drone shots all the time, and I personally want to just film drone stuff all the time. But I gotta switch it up, then it makes it special, right? Later.